Hey everybody, this is Stuart and Haley with Wine on the Dime. So um, I decided that I wanted to have Haley back because she actually has some experience with where this wine is from. Oh, I thought it's because you did such a bad job with me last time, giving me the awfulness that you had to give me something somewhat good. Come on, Choco Vine was awesome. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what uh, I want to do this time is review. Uh, now, I, I had to look this up. I think it's called Glue... glue <laughs> I knew glue I was going to screw it up. How is it again? Glue wine. Glue wine? That's what Google said. Okay, so yes. So anyway, you said that you've actually been to where this is from. So I grew up being able to travel and I've been to Christmas marts and winter marts in Germany. Um, the old cobblestone pathways and the bakery smells everywhere and good wine. Is that and what that means? I don't actually <laughs> speak German, so no idea. But. I was excited when he got this, and then he neglected to tell me the back when it says that this is an aromatized wine-based drink, which has me shooting right back to Choco Vine in my head, so I'm really not excited about this. <laughs> it says Gluine is a mulled wine. It's an aromatic drink, grape wine with natural flavor. So I think we're going right back to the chemical. Well, hold on, hold I'm, hold on, hold on. I have not let's, opened let's, it yet. Let's think of it from this Scared. perspective. Mold wine normally has things like orange peel, clove, some other stuff that's in there. That is a grape wine that is then given natural yeah, aromas. Yeah, and if and that was legit stuff, it would say wine with cloves and cinnamon. This is, this is they, I bet you money. They don't want to give it away. No. They don't want to give it away. <laughs> no, this the is other way, totally... Then everybody would be able to make this, and that would just be ridiculous. This is marketing. So, uh... Oh, I'm so not excited. So, oh, it's by the way, it's 8.5% alcohol by volume. I got my local H-E-B for $7. Uh, so, I think this is a screw top, actually. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds <laughs> me of, like, a 40 of old English. <laughs> I'm so scared again. <laughs> so, uh... Now, true see. mold wine? Ooh, Good! I can't get this thing to jigger out of what is with the, okay. Do you need nails? I need nails. Did you do? You like shredded the actual top. Okay, negative one. Screw top that you then shrink wrap in the metal? Not so good. Yeah, that's, that foil is. It foiled it. It Oh, it foiled us. The opening. Uh, that was a terrible, I'm so sorry. You're never gonna want me back again. Okay. Okay. Anyway, screw top. Uh, plus one. Negative one. It was wrapped. Well, the foil was a negative one. Okay, I'll give the foil a negative run. One. I'll give the screw top a plus one. Evens out so far. So uh, let me have your ladies first. Hey, it looks like normal wine. I will give it that. So it doesn't look like <laughs> doesn't there's look no like... orange or essence coming out of it. What was it? What was it? Iodine. Oh, it looked like iodine and chocolate milk. Just disgust this thing. Ugh. My my fan. This, so this is a, a German. Um, Christmas decoration that we got from a lady at my church, and we are so full of hot air, us, that the candles aren't actually making this turn anymore because because we keep interrupting. Yeah. That that says a lot. Anyway, so uh, let's set this right here. All right. Uh, ready? For no. oh, hold on. From a color standpoint, I it's just on it's it's and... it's just <laughs> it, I mean, it looks like a, a kind of a lighter red wine, almost like a Pinot Noir. Like it's just. I'm just gonna light. go with garnet. That's a good color for it. I mean, jewel tone, light. jewel tones, which is fitful, like fitting for the holidays. Uh, I'm just about to smell the bottom. Yeah, of the I, uh, yeah, yeah, that smells like plastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really have any sort of hint, one way or another, in terms of like, yeah, it's just a red wine artifact stuff. Uh, from a nose standpoint, that's quite interesting. Like that smells like some really good roast vegetables. It does was, not smell like wine. So, so I'm gonna say this, and it's probably gonna ruin this for you now. But I know this. You I, know what it is. I know exactly what this smells like. What is it? it smells like Italian sausage <laughs> in red wine. <gasps> it does. <laughs> I hate Italian sausage. I'm really not looking forward to this anymore. <laughs> good thing I'm German. So. uh... <laughs> I was looking for the clove and the, I was it, hoping for. I, there's like a fennel. There's I like don't a, like fennel. I know you don't like fennel. 
but there's uh, like an oregano. Oh, you're right. Like it's like fennel oregano. There's a little bit of clove. That there's is like Italian. An orange. That is Italian sausage, sausage wine. Not breakfast sausage. A true Italian, Italian sausage. sausage. Yeah. In a wine glass. Okay. Yeah. All right. So ready? Ready oh. for this tasting? Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh God, it's sweet. Yeah. And there's cinnamon. I am not putting those two together. I'm not putting Italian sausage aroma with sweet cinnamon. Overall, it's not, it's not bad. the most terrible thing in the yeah. world. It is not my drink, though. No. I, see, I knew it was going to be sweet because it's only 8.5, so that residual sugar dang it could have converted to alcohol. So, what so he that, said. That, that's going to stay, that's going to make the wine sweeter. But, um,. Like, if it wasn't for the smell... If I was into sweet wines and I kind of wanted a holiday kick type thing, I would probably be okay for this. So, traditionally, mulled wine is served hot. Mm -hmm. Which we did not do. We did not do. So, I'm wondering... No, would you... Stop it. I was just gonna abide. Um... Maybe that'll cut down on the aroma and increase... Maybe we should try it warm. Don't want to microwave it? I don't know how you make it We're going to heat this up on the stove, at least get some traditionalness in here, and we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Okay, so now we're back. I was told I wasn't festive enough, so no. ah, hashtag LP. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, I'm festive. We have warmed up the glue wine, um, and I guess now we just see if it changed anything. So we have our festive Santa cups, so you're not going to be able to see the wine, but the wine's color really didn't change. Yeah, in the words of Stuart, so. uh, Christmas has thrown up in my house, and that's okay for yeah. me. Yeah, for her. Uh, so from nose, definitely more of the herbs have come out and warming it up. More of the traditional Yeah, the ones cinnamon, the clove, yeah. the orange, I'm that much stuff. much less sausage. <laughs> <laughs> this, is more like, this smells more like Christmas and less like sausage. Yeah. Unless sausage is a Christmas tradition for you. Um, but, but it smells a yeah. lot closer to what yeah. mulled wine should smell like. Yes. So that's a perk. Yes, um, that, that is definitely a perk. Um, I'm so afraid I'm going to burn our tongue. I know, it's just <laughs> super hot. I might have overdone it. All right, this might, this might have to edit into the, yeah. the actual drink. Not my cup of tea, still. No, it's a cup of wine. Mm -hmm. So sorry I set you up for that. <laughs> so still not my favorite drink in the world. Much closer to the real thing. I I can tell that, that some of those natural flavors are still not <laughs> synthetic -ish. real. Synthetic-ish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can. I, um, I can. It's, it, it definitely doesn't have a one hundred percent pure quality. Right. Here. But who knows the reason for that? I mean, you maybe can't bottle it if you do it. Like it might ruin. Oh, yeah. Like it might go bad or stay up or something like that. But um, <coughs> how's from, that? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, this is not a hot putty. No, it's not. Yeah, it's it's. I would say it's okay. I'd go with okay. Yeah, if I mean like if if I was gonna do something like have a mulled wine at a party, I'd probably make it myself. If yes. I ran out of yes. time. If I ran out of time, grabbing a couple bottle, bottles of this and warming it up. And maybe accenting it with some stuff. Maybe yeah. throw in some legit orange peel. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Actually, like, that sounds pretty good. It does. But I don't have an orange. But um, uh, I, 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 it's not a bad alternative. It's not. Especially for like $7 a bottle. Yeah. If you don't That's have the time. Bottle. Yeah, it is pretty. I mean, it's a full-size bottle. It's a... Uh, Actually, it's one liter. It's more than a full-size bottle. So you're, you're getting a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and your ink German uh, OE uh, 40 looking thing. But it's, it's not bad. If you warm it up. If you warm it up. Drinking it cold, that was wrong. That was bad. That was not good. Well, it wasn't even cold. It was just like room temp. It was still not good. Yeah, it wasn't good. Um, yeah, warming it, totally the way to go. And it kind of grows on you. I'm taking a few sips now, and you get a little more. And it's not strong enough to have that be the reason. No. 
I don't know if it's just because I, I really, for the longest time, didn't like sweet wines at all. That I'm just kind of not digging it. But Oh, I'm not digging it. I'm just saying it grows on me. It's getting better. Oh. It's not great. Um, like, I could see, not in the state of Texas, where it is illegal to do so, but I can see taking this on a camp out in a plastic jar or something, heating it up on the fire, and sitting there with the cold wrap, watching the stars, drinking some. I can see that. I can I can see you doing that. And off to the side. You'll have brought your real stuff and your mm -hmm. and, and I would then dump this out I'm just, and use the real stuff. I no. Yes. I yes. But not if I was in a rush. Because this would work in a rush. Yeah. Warm it up, it'll get you through an evening. Yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna complain. Yeah, well. Unless they're super snobby. So don't give it to us. No. Yeah, don't give it to us. But average person will probably work for you. Uh, anyway, this has been Stuart and Haley. <laughs> You're not average. <laughs> what? I've been running a wine blog for five years. I've had enough. I've drank enough bad stuff and enough good stuff in order for me to be able to pick something out pretty quickly. But um, the average person who doesn't sit there and try a variety of things, they kind of stick to their rabbit. Because that's, that's the thing, though, is you bring up a good point. The average person tends to find a few wines that they like yeah. and just buy that all the time. And only that. And, and it's, it's only when people really push out and explore and try a lot of different things and you find some really great things and you find some really bad things. Like, really bad things. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Yeah. Um, that that you that you would then go to someplace else and be like, oh, I don't like this. This is like a wine from around this area and it's just way too like overripe on the fruit or something like that. But it's like try hundreds of different kinds of wines and you will get to the point where you get that. Average person doesn't try hundred types of wines. No. They might do hundreds bo of bottles of a couple of wines they like, but they're Good not going to try hundreds of stuff. So. Um, anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Uh, this has been my guest, Haley. Thank you for showing up. And this time you Much are not like, <laughs> going off to the bathroom <laughs> and getting sick uh, because of the wine I had you drink. Uh, if you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, have you had uh, glue wine? I'd be interested to know if you have. Uh, is there other things you do to kind of spruce it up uh, besides just kind of warming it up, which we found is the way that you should be drinking it? Don't drink it straight. And this is why he brought me on the show. Yes. Um, and do you have uh, any recipes that you'd like to share for making your own? Uh, please, if you do, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another video from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, fire pit? Yeah. Yeah. It's like the holidays threw <laughs> up on camera. This is ridiculous. Awesome. The word is ridiculous awesome. awesome. Okay. Welcome to my Christmas. <laughs> Glad I'm recording. All right. And that's the outro, isn't it? Promise. Three, two.